Right lads, in this video I'm going to go through how to find the trace of a plane. So it tells us given the plan and elevation of a lamina ABC, find the trace of the plane that contains this lamina. So up to this we would have been used to being actually given one view, for example the plan, and then the trace of the plane, so the vertical trace and horizontal trace. In this question here we're actually given the elevation and plan and we'd actually find the trace itself this time, so the actual lines that will go down not there for where the plane, the oblique plane actually intersects with the horizontal and vertical plane itself. So to start the question we draw out our actual plan elevation, what we're actually given. So we'll just draw an XY line across the page. I'm going to keep it in slightly a bit so to make sure I have room for where my <coughs> traces hit the XY line. And what I'm going to do is say that point B so is going to be going up 12 Once well, so point B is going to be around here, and then point A is up a further six from there. So let's draw a line up there. Add on my six mil, take that across, and then add on 38 mil for point C. and take that across as well. So there's my height lines for A, B and C. So point C is going to be down 12. So what I'll do is I'll take a line down there from where B is going to be there. So there's B. Take a straight line down and I'll measure down my distances I'm given as well. So I'm given 12, then 10 and then 50. So 12, 10, and 50. That's the exact same thing again. I'll just take my lines across. And then point B is the lowest one. So point B obviously is going to be in line with point B there. From B in the elevation, C is actually located <coughs> 16 mil across from it. There's point C there, and then A is located 20 mil away from B. So I take that line across there. So it's up on the 6, B should be down here. So that's not A there. So B is the lowest point, A is located 20 mil away to this side. So there's A there. What I can do is I can connect. A, B, and C together there. And then just drop A down. And A is the 10 mil line down there. So there's A, A, B is that one. And C is going to be this one here. And we draw A, B, and C there as well. So there's my actual triangular lamina now drawn in. So to actually find these points, or find the actual plane itself, we know that each one of these points is actually on the plane itself. So what we're able to do is, for example, we can extend out one of our lines to hit the plane, hit the XY line. So for example, CA, we can extend that out hits the XY line there. What we do is we drop it straight down and see where does CA hit in the plan. We extend CA out. That gives us one point on our actual plane. So what we need to do is repeat the process with another one. So for example CB. When CB is extended out, hits the XY line there. We take it straight down and our CD is extended plan gives this point here and that gives us two points on our actual trace or our horizontal trace so now what we can do is we can draw our horizontal trace because these points are actually on the pin that's why we can extend them out by extending them out we can see where do they actually hit off 
in terms of the ground, so the actual where the trace hits. So on the horizontal plane, CA will extend out somewhere along that line. When CA extends it out on the vertical plane, it will eventually hit the XY line on the ground there. When we take it down, there's where it hits on the point for the actual trace to occur, so where the actual plane intersects with the horizontal plane giving us the horizontal trace there. And just to get a second point, we repeat the process again there with CB. So what you need to do then is <clears throat> to find one of the points on my um, sorry vertical trace. What you can do is you can look in parallel like we would before. So for example, A. Go parallel to our trace. So the idea there. Them lines are parallel. Take it straight up, across. That gives me a point there. I already have another point on the ground there. And that'll give me my vertical trace as a result. So all we're basically doing is extending the actual line out. So CA extends out. It keeps going and going and going. So we forget about where it stopped yet. It's going out somewhere along there. I don't know where it's going to go yet. In elevation, it also extends out. But we have a point where it stops the ground. It can't go any lower than that. That's where it intersects with the ground. So we take that straight down. It intersects with the plan. That will give us a point on where it actually hits the horizontal trace. And we do the exact same process again there for that one. So to actually see that in terms of just cover show it. And what we'll do is I'll actually create a SOLIDWORKS model for the later on to show you how this works as well. So we extend CA. That goes out to the ground there. It drops down. And it only drops down as far as where CA extends out there as well. And to get a second point, we do the exact same thing again, just shown in yellow. You take CB, extend it out to the ground, drop it down like that there, and extend CB out here as well. Gives you a second point. And all that's a matter of doing then is going parallel to your horizontal trace, picking any point, so I just picked A, you could have picked C if you wanted either. Extend that out, take it up, and take this across there. And where they meet gives you a point on the vertical trace then as a result. So that's one way of actually finding the traces. <coughs> of a plane when only given the laminar surface itself. For the next one, we can use an auxiliary view as well. So what I'll do is I'll just set this up right beside it again. So I'll just extend my XY line and I'll take across all my points here as well. So there's my line for B, A and C and up my elevation my line for B, A and C as well. All I need to do is get my widths now. So I'll just start, for example, B out here. So there's point B there. And draw my line down. B is on this line here. And then for A, a was sticking out 20 mil to the left. A is sticking out 20 mil there as well. A drops down to this line here. And then for C, C sticks out the <coughs> 16 mil to this side. So there's C, and just drop down C as well here too. And 
and they're safe. So, for a bit. so same idea again, just connect them up first. So A, B and C all connect together in plan. And then A, B, C connect together in my elevation. So with this method, what we're going to do is actually create an auxiliary view. So we can see an edge view of the actual plane itself. By seeing an edge view of the plane, or sorry, by seeing an edge view of the shape, that means we actually see an edge view of the plane because the shape is actually resting on the plane itself. So what we need to do for an auxiliary view is we need to actually have a true length. So if you take any level line in plan, so any horizontal line, sorry, in elevation, in plan that will always appear as a true length. So for example, if I take a level line from A, across there it hits CB at this point. If I take that straight down to hit the line CB, hits it there, and I connect it back to A. What I'll do is I'll show it in colour. So a horizontal line or a level line elevation will appear as a true length in plan. So that line there, it's not a true length. But if we look at it in plan, it appears then as a true length. And we know if we look in perpendicular to a true length, we can see an edge view of it, which is going to give us an edge view of the plane itself. So what we want to see is this line is going to appear here as a point if we look in perpendicular. So if I extend that out and draw my full plan, <clears throat> try and keep my view away as much as possible so it doesn't intersect with the traces, and just extend these two out as well. draw now my xy line. So there's my xy line there, label as x1 y1. All of my heights <coughs> are going to be gotten from my elevation. Let's just get my compass and just draw my xy line nice and heavy so you can actually see it clearly where I can get my heights from. There's my xy line there. So I take my height a, there's a there, there's a there as an edge view, height b, b is on that line as well, sorry, b is, is on this line here, and then c, extend that out to there. C is on this line here. What right, you'll find is when you join these together, they'll all pass through the one point if you're accurate enough. So like that there. So just for now, I'm going to put a bit of colour on it. So we'll just use blue there, just to the colour in the plane. So there's the elevation. There's our plan. You can see there, there's point A, there's point B, there's point C. That plane is an edge view, which automatically means, and that's the plane drawn there. If we extend this out, because the lamina is actually on the oblique plane, there's where you can see the actual <coughs> horizontal trace here on the ground. And up here, if we just extend that out, just to imagine the plane goes on. There you see our vertical trace there, so there's our actual vertical trace. It's also a true inclination of it. There's a horizontal trace, so all we need to do now is take <coughs> our horizontal trace back. 
And when we take it back, it's our x, y line here. That's our actual position of our horizontal trace. And we can extend it on then. There's one of our horizontal traces. And <clears throat> to find our vertical trace, all we need to do is copy the same idea again. Take a point that's parallel. So for example, C there, it's running parallel to our horizontal trace. So this angle here is the same as that angle there. C goes straight up, goes across, gives us this point here. And there's <clears throat> our trace then as a result. And that's our vertical trace. You'll see as well, just by picking C, for example, in the last one I picked point A. If I was to extend point A up, so go up this way, just use 3 to that angle to in there. See there, take A across, to me the exact same point as well. So you can see it works with any of the points, if I took B up, B across, it will give you the exact same result as well. So once you're going parallel each time to trace, you'll always get the same result. So hopefully that video helps anybody may have been stuck on those questions there.